minus cricket, we are nothing. Because when we were young, we played only cricket. We don't had any good opportunity to, for the education, for those kind of things. But the cricket was free for us. So I think Allah helps us and now we are here. When the 2023 World Cup started, everyone knew which teams were going to perform well and rode off the smaller teams quickly. Well, Afghanistan had other ideas and proved everyone wrong. This team shocked the world with four amazing victories, including beating the defending champions. And Afghanistan have the greatest victory. Even before the tournament, Afghanistan made waves in the cricketing world and became a big name team with its amazing bowling attacks. Come this time! Down the wicket! Strong batting lineup. And this is now just terrific batting. The likes of Rashid Khan and Mohamed Nabi regularly feature among the best players in the world. It's hard to imagine just 20 years ago, they weren't even associate members. The Afghans only got their associate membership in 2013, and they only got test status in 2017. Despite that, they became one of the strongest sides with world-class players. So what led to this amazing reputation? To find out, we need to take a deep dive into the rise of Afghanistan cricket. Cricket in Afghanistan can find its roots all the way back to the mid-19th century when their British rulers played it. However, the locals were not too fond of it yet. The surge of cricket mania only entered Afghanistan in the 90s when refugees saw the sport's popularity in Shaheen's homeland. As soon as it reached Afghanistan, the craze spread like wildfire, and in 1995, with the help of Pakistan, the Afghanistan Cricket Federation was formed. It didn't take them too long to become an affiliate member of the ICC. They got the status in 2001 and soon joined the Asian Cricket Council in 2003. This was where the journey truly started. As part of the ACC, they regularly partook in the ACC Trophy, and in 2006, they finally reached the semifinals against Hong Kong. They may have lost, but this was still a massive achievement. 2007 was a great year for Afghanistan cricket as they were joint winners of the ACC Trophy with Oman and won ICC Division 5, 4, and 3. This seriously impressed ICC, who finally decided to give them ODI status in 2009. They even qualified for 2010 T20 World Cup, but lost to South Africa and India and got out in the group stages. It's not over. Yorker base of Lakestam and Balaji finishes it off for India. 2011 was also a good year as they managed to reach the Super 8 of the ICC World Cup qualifiers before being knocked out by Canada. 2012 was the year they played their first ODI match against a full member, their friends Pakistan. The team had a trial by fire as they faced legends Misaba ul Haq, Shaib Malik, and Shahid Afridi. In this match, Shahid Afridi won Player of the Match award by taking five wickets. They ended up losing the match by seven wickets. River sweep, and that is it. And Pakistan win by seven wickets. Up until this point, Afghanistan did not face any strong opponents other than Pakistan, but one tournament was about to change this forever. The 2011-13 ICC World Cricket League Championship may not have been the most popular tournament in the world, but it was definitely very important for the countries that participated in it. Why is that? Well, the top two teams get a free entry ticket into the 2015 World Cup. In the background was the growing struggle between two great powers to shape the post-war world. Heading into 2013, Afghanistan's chances did not look great. They shared third place with Scotland and were behind the second place Netherlands and the top dogs Ireland. This meant that they were competing with three teams for a spot and all of them were solid contenders. A lot of the pressure eased off when Scotland lost two matches by a huge margin, meaning that their World Cup dreams were over. While this was devastating news for the Scots, it meant that Afghanistan had a much easier road to the World Cup. The road got even easier when the Netherlands lost to Ireland. This meant that Afghanistan's destiny was in their own hands. They had to win all of their remaining four matches to beat UAE and Netherlands for that second place finish. Afghanistan did just that when they beat former World Cup semi-finalist Kenya by eight wickets, chasing down a target of 89 with ease. There were some incredible performances in these matches. And Afghanistan win in the most decisive manner you could possibly imagine including a four-wicket haul from Hamid Hassan and a half-century from Nowraz Mangal. 50 for Mangal. 
In the end, Afghanistan finished second with 19 points and qualified for the 2015 World Cup. The road ahead was far from easy, though. They were about to face the best teams in the world. The only question left to answer was, were the Afghans ready for this challenge? Well, not quite. They lost all their matches in the World Cup except against Scotland. The victory should not be discounted, however, as few sides can take home a win from their first ever campaign. Oh, beautifully bold has got the make! It was a thrilling match where they chased down a target of 211 with just one wicket. He's picked him up leg side! Those are the winning runs! Shapur is the hero! And Afghanistan have won the most historic encounter. It's their first World Cup victory. They were helped to the victory through a brilliant 96 from Simiula Shinwari and four wickets from Shapur Zidran. 2016 was also a year that brought about a huge achievement for Afghanistan. The team qualified for the T20 World Cup. They topped Group B in the first round to get to the Super 10, where they once again faced off against the best sides in the world. It was pretty clear that they weren't ready yet, as they won just one match in Group 1, finishing bottom of the table. However, one very positive note is the fact that they beat the eventual champions, West Indies, defending a target of only 123 with excellent performances from Mohamed Nabi and Rashid Khan. They won the match by six runs. He's hit in the air, field gets underneath, a brilliant catch! Absolutely superb catch by Najib. After these impressive displays, ICC decided to award this young side test status in 2017, and they took on their first challenge against the mighty India. The men in blue dominated them, but ever since then, the team has also looked so much better. The next year, 2018, the Afghanistan U19 did what their senior team failed to do, reach the World Cup semi-final. Given, that's the end of the New Zealand innings. Takes Afghanistan into the semi-finals, beating New Zealand by 202 runs. They were knocked out by an exciting Australia side at this point, but their performances earned massive praise, especially that of a young batsman, Asmatullah Amarzai. <laughs> Effortless! 2019 was yet another bright chapter in the nation's cricketing story as they won their first ever international trophy. Afghanistan won the 2018 ICC WC qualifiers. played their finals against an experienced West Indies side, who they beat by seven wickets on a 204 target. Another chapter in the history of Afghanistan's cricket. Mohammad Shahzad was the man of the match as he led his side to victory with 84 runs and two catches to his name. But the aging West Indies side did not prepare them for the tournament. They came close to defeating India, but history seldom remembers things that almost happened. That's a hat -trick. And it's a World Cup hat trick, the second Indian bowler to do it. Both 2021 and 2022 were not good years for the Afghanistan cricket board. The T20 World Cup campaigns in both these years were less than satisfactory. They registered just two wins in 2021. These wins were over Namibia and Scotland at this point. Afghanistan were expected to win these fixtures. They finished fourth behind India, New Zealand, and Pakistan. The 2022 campaign was just extremely unlucky as a few of their matches were abandoned due to the rain in Australia. Still, finishing last was not pleasing for the fans one bit. Little did the fans know that all their tears were going to be wiped away with a magical tournament in India. The year of the World Cup finally dawned upon the Afghans. The ICC World Cup 2023 was here, and spoiler alert, they were amazing in it. After their previous international showings, the world wasn't expecting this side to take many victories, and boy did they prove them wrong. These men started by taking down former world champions, England, in a convincing manner, beating the three Lions by 69 runs. Yeah. Fold him! And it is over, and Afghanistan have the greatest victory in their history. They went on to defeat Pakistan, the Netherlands, and Sri Lanka. They also almost beat the champions Australia, if it wasn't for a magical innings from Maxwell. And Maxwell hits it! Hi! Can it make it? It does make it! Glenn Maxwell! They ended the campaign in sixth in the table, which meant they qualified for the Champions Trophy for the first time in their history. Their performances gained international praise, 
Take Pakistan legend Wasim Akram, for instance, who was full of praise for the side after their England victory. The Afghanistan team because they did great. I mean, the whole country should be super proud of them. So, who led this team to such great heights? Their T20 captain sure played a part. Rashid Khan led the bowling charts with 11 wickets. Yeah! Bowled him! In terms of batting, they had Ibrahim Zidran, who put up a respectable total of 376. The best Afghani all-rounder in the tournament was someone who was also impressed at the U19 level. We're speaking, of course, about Amzat Amarzai, who seven wickets and scored 350s over this tournament. Big shot, Azmat. Praise must also go out to Captain Fantastic Hazmatullah Shahidi, who steered the boys to all their wins. These players are representing their nation at the highest level throughout the year, and that's why they also rank very high. Nabi and Khan ranked second and fourth respectively in terms of ODI all-rounders. Nabi also holds the rank in T20. Meanwhile, three out of the top ten bowlers in T20 are from Afghanistan. Bear in mind that these are all young players who have many good years left. With the constant wars, the country barely has any infrastructure to support these players. On top of that, the government barely supports this team. So how did they rise to the top with all of these disadvantages? There are three very strong reasons behind this. First and foremost, cricket serves as an outlet of frustration for the players and the fans. Afghanistan is not a peaceful state and the people are suffering greatly. If Afghans didn't have cricket, they would take drugs or take part in war or other miserable things. Psychologically, cricket takes their mind away from bad things. People won't participate in elections, but they will in cricket. It has become essential to the Afghan people. Any sort of distraction helps the people massively, and that's where cricket comes in. The passionate players and fans drive this team to do their best in whatever format, stadium, or pitch they play in. Former coach Andy Moles described this mentality best. They're very passionate, they're very driven. You know, the, the, unfortunately, there's a lot of negativity around Afghanistan in the political arena, but in the sporting area, cricket is, is massively supported in the country. Secondly, the country receives a fair bit of international support. This is the beauty of cricket. It has the power to unite nations and show a level of cooperation that was never seen before. Pakistan and India have supported this nation for a very long time, but they're not the only ones. Domestic cricket, for example, is greatly helped by two other nations, Bangladesh and UAE. The best players in the tournaments are sent for training and coaching in Bangladesh, and the tournaments are sponsored by Edistalt, a company based in UAE. Last, and perhaps the strongest reason behind their success, is the simple fact that they have a golden generation. The list of talented players in their squad is endless. These men are great at cricket and it shows. They've developed the confidence needed to perform at the highest level according to cricket guru Harsha Bhog. Emerging teams always have in short supply and that is confidence. And armed with confidence, Afghanistan are becoming an even better side. Rashid is now a threat to most teams who would play against him. Mohammad Nabi is a very canny cricketer. From where Afghanistan came to where they are, it's the story of the 21st century for our game. This is just the beginning of a bright future for the Afghan youngsters. Afghanistan cricket story will always be an inspiration about how willpower, determination, and hard work will overcome the toughest challenges.